Hello everyone, it's Mila here. I hope you're all having an awesome day. So as promised, today we are playing some Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. I'm so excited for today's video. I hope you are too. And if you have been thinking of starting Pocket Camp yourself, feel free to grab your phone or your tablet and playing along with me. We're going to be starting a new game and playing from the very beginning. The only part that I'm going to skip is approximately the first 15 minutes of gameplay here because it's all very basic tutorials. It's pretty straightforward. So we're going to skip all of that just to save a little bit of time. Otherwise, honestly, we would be just doing tutorials for the whole episode. So we're going to skip the very beginning, the basic, how to move around, how to pick a fruit, all that stuff, and just jump straight to the campsite. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Make sure you like it. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you want to see more pocket camp and let's jump straight to the video there is a lot to cover here Okay, so here we are at my brand new campsite. I think the beginning tutorials took me less than 10 minutes actually. So feel free to pause the video and once you get through all the crafting tutorials and picking up your first campsite visitor and stuff like that, this is where we're gonna begin our camp journey, our pocket camp journey. Okay, so I chose a theme. As you can see here, I chose the cute theme. Right now I'm playing on my tablet, but I have another save game on my phone and there I chose the natural campsite So I wanted to change things up a little bit and choose the cute theme It doesn't really matter much which theme you choose It only affects your first campsite visitor But I wouldn't worry too much about it because you can still invite all of the beginning villagers to your campsite anyways So the theme doesn't really matter at all. I hope Hope you got through the beginning tutorials. They took so long. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the beginning of Pocket Camp is full of tutorials. That's why I wanted to make this little let's play so we can get through them together. But here we are and as you can see there is a lot of stuff happening here. There is a lot of notifications everywhere. So let's start unpacking this and let's try to find Rosie, my first campsite visitor. Where is she? Hello. Okay, there she is. So she wants to chat with us. Let's see what is up with Rosie. You know, Rosie, you can always talk to me. Let's see what she has to say. Okay, I think she wants us to give her something. You have any fruit I could eat? I knew it. Okay, good that I picked up all the apples. <laughs> Here you go. Ah, an apple. It looks nice and juicy too. Thanks, Mila. Yay. Okay, let's move on. Let's try to get another campsite visitor in this episode. Oh, she wants to talk to us again. I've seen a lot of campers that are like definition of bland. Thank goodness I can make customizations to spice things up. Uh, you have to stop by. Okay, so the villagers will tell you a lot of tips of what to do, but yeah, I already know this stuff. <laughs> I've been so obsessed with pocket camp for like a month now. So yeah, you have been warned. Pocket Pocket camp is highly addictive. Alrighty, so what should we do first? I think, should we collect all the goals? Uh, okay, perfect. So basically there is plenty of goals here and you should just collect everything. In the beginning, you will complete all these goals super fast and there is going to be a lot happening. So I know it's a little bit overwhelming, but I think after level eight or something, it will get so much better and there will not be so many things happening at once. So yeah, make sure you collect your goals and then make sure that you collect all the items that you got from the goals from your mailbox. Oh, and we, as you can see in the beginning, there is a lot going on. You will be like only collecting goals for the first like half an hour here. Okay, we got some leaf tickets and yeah, that is it. Let's move on. Let's try and find a new villager. I think 
from all these four. I think everyone gets the same starter villagers in the beginning, but I think I want to go and invite Philbert. He is the cutest. Oh my goodness. Like I kind of want to invite him in New Horizons as well because he is just adorable and he's my BFF on Pocket Camp. Oh my goodness. Yay. I got another native fruit. Okay. So you will always get like one local produce and I think there is three, three, chop, blah, blah, blah. I think there is three options for these and on my other camp I think I have the I don't know how to pronounce it but liche liche lich I don't know whatever so I'm happy to get grapes it's nice to have some some variety for here for this camp oh my goodness cause speak sorry about that you guys <laughs> okay let's collect some stuff I think in the beginning you can just explore all the different locations and collect whatever you can right now there is this like ninja and event happening but I think we're quite late to it because it has been going on for quite some times quite some times oh my goodness I cannot speak <laughs> it has been going on for quite some time now so I don't think we have time to really complete it but I'm just gonna be collecting these gyroids over here um these won't be around forever they are only here because of the event but there are always some events happening in pocket camp so yeah it's quite addicting it is quite addicting. Okay, let's let's catch uh, a fish. I really like fishing in pocket camp because it's so much easier. So much easier than in New Horizons. You don't have to like listen to anything. It's only tapping. All right, let's go and chat with Philbert. Oh my god, I forgot to pick up the cherries. Let's do that first and then let's chat with Philbert. Philbert, he is the cutest. Oh my god, I love him. Oh, what a view. Don't you just love it out here? Hey, my name's Philbert. I've been out here seeing the sights for a while now. Bucko, Bucko, Bucko. Oh my gosh, I can't pronounce anything. <laughs> Okay, I'm just full of pro tips. Okay, as you know, like the villagers will really give you a lot of hints and stuff that you can do around the map. So tell me a story, Philbert. What is up with you? Okay, nothing special, I see. I think we need to get our friendship to level maybe three before we can invite him. So we need more apples for Philbert. Um, I think I'm gonna just fish here. You know, Pocket Camp is kind of like Stardew Valley. You always need need a full stock of everything because you never know what you're gonna need so definitely collect everything that you can because all these fruits and fish you will need to fulfill some requests for the villagers or the campsite visitors which one should we call them visitors or villagers i don't know <laughs> okay i think that is good for now we might have to come back depending on what the villagers want us to give them. Um, let's go back to the Breezy Hollow and check if there is any apples there. I think in the beginning Isabel gives you like a bunch of stuff that you can also use when you are running around at the different locations. I think this was my apple tree so I'm gonna fertilize it so we get some more apples. My goal here today is to invite Philbert. I'm not sure how much we are able to do today but I'm I'm trying also not to make this video too long. It's just the first look to Pocket Camp. And as you can obviously see, it's very like beginner friendly. So it's mainly for those of you who maybe are not playing Pocket Camp yet. Okay, I'm just gonna collect all of these. Maybe I will say hi to Goldie. Well, hello, Goldie. She's also so adorable. Okay, so Pocket Camp is the best way to kind of have another island. You know, you can have more villagers. It kind of feels like a second island or a third island, definitely. And I love inviting villagers that I cannot even invite over on my New Horizons islands. So it definitely feels like you have like an extra island or it's technically a campsite, but you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yay, so we are already at level two and we can already invite other villagers as well. I think, was it Eugene? I think we got Eugene's contact details, awesome. So let's go back to Philbert and try to level up his friendship so we can, we can invite him to the campsite. Okay, so there is a lot of tutorials popping up. I'm not gonna like look into them too much in today's video. Of course, if you are playing yourself, I recommend that you read all of it because it has all the information. Uh, so here you go, Philbert. I have some apples for you. We would really love you to come and hang out at our campsite. Oh, he is adorable. I don't know. I just love Philbert. He's like one of my favorite characters. As I said, I kind of want to go and hunt for him in New Horizons because I love Philbert. He's so cute. <laughs> okay, come to my campsite. Awesome. So yeah, I think in the beginning, you only need to level the friendship to level two, but later on, you might need to level up to level five or something like that. Okay, so he will ask you to craft some items. You can see them all here and we are missing only the swinging bench. If you want to make it a little bit easier for yourself to remember what he wants you to craft, you can always favorite all the furniture, but since we're only missing one item, I think that's fine. So let's open our craft menu here and craft one swinging bench. It's going to take one minute. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we have our crafting going. Let's collect these goals for a change. As you can see, we are like completing these goals like there is no tomorrow, but it's good. We get some good items that we're going to need in the future. Collect them from the mailbox as well. There we go. And even our crafting is ready. Perfect. Okay. I think we can invite Philbert now. Awesome. Invite to the campsite. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Okay. I have to say, I love all the cutscenes in Pocket Camp. They are so freaking adorable. That's like my favorite thing about this game. You kind of get like new dialogue with the villagers and everything. So it's super, super cute. So adorable. And the good thing is that you can also basically invite every villager to your campsite. It is super easy to like swap them around and you can always invite them back, which is a huge plus. I love that about um, Pocket Camp. Uh, we really need a new outfit as well. Like I hate the beginning outfit. It's so ugly. <laughs> okay, let's collect these goals once more. As I said, like the beginning, you're just like freaking collecting goals for 30 minutes. It's so funny. Okay, perfect, perfect. All right, our campsite is looking all kinds of cute. Okay, it looks really, really ugly, but you can customize everything from the design here. Um, You can also... Oh, okay, you need to be level 13 to change your campsite terrain. Okay, but basically you can change everything. You can even change the, the background, the sky, everything. There are so many, so many, so many ways you can customize your campsite. It's kind of dangerous because it makes you want to like buy a lot of leave tickets. But so far, I've been actually doing pretty okay with just the leave tickets that I get while playing the game. So I haven't been purchasing any anything in-game. Okay, so who should we meet next? I think let's go and obviously chat with the koala boy over here. There are some amazing items in Pocket Camp. Honestly, guys, it's so good. I've been so addicted to this. It's a great change from New Horizons. So if you're looking for another Animal Crossing game to play, I highly recommend playing some pocket camp. Okay, what is up, Eugene? What can we do for you today? Uh, here you go. Some fruit. Eugene is so cute. I think we need to invite Eugene as well. He is my my koala boy that I never had the chance to invite in. In, 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 in. Oh my goodness. In New Horizons. Oh my god. My brain is like melting. Okay. Can we do anything else here? Okay. I think we definitely need to invite Eugene because, you know, koala. Maybe we should make an all koala campsite. Let me check here. So if you go to your contact, you can see all the villagers that are in pocket camp and unfortunately, 
unfortunately, not all New Horizons villagers are in Pocket Camp. So yeah, as you can see from koalas, there is only four. And from this menu, you can also see how you can get these villagers. So for example, Alice, you can meet at level 37, but for Lyman and Yuka, you need a special map. As I said, there is kind of a lot to the beginning of the game, so I don't think we are going to be able to go through everything in this first episode. So definitely, if you guys enjoy Pocket Camp, I'm gonna make another episode so we can dive more deep to really everything. As you can see on the map, there is a lot of locations. Some of them are still locked, so we can't even go to them. But um, I think our goal today is to reach level three. So let's go and meet everyone. What is up, Jay? High five. <laughs> We're road bros now, brosephine. His catchphrase though. <laughs> So what is up, Jay? What is up? You have anything for us? Okay, so you can also go and chat with Isabel in case you need the beginner's guide. It's at Marketplace. Thank you for the information, Jay. Okay, I'm gonna catch a few bugs over here and then we're gonna go and say hello to, I think, Goldie and Apollo. I'm gonna get some coconuts and we're gonna move on to the next location. As you can see here, every location has its own special specialty. So right now we're kind of on the bug island and uh, here on saltwater shores where Goldie is, you can fish the ocean fish. Where Eugene was, that was obviously a river fish. And Apollo is like in the orchard. Oh yay! Okay, you really wanna collect everything because some items are really valuable and you can get a lot of money from some stuff, especially pearl oysters. Yes, these are so, so expensive. We're gonna make some good money with those. Okay, so what is up, Goldie? You sure know how to get someone's attention. What does Goldie want us to do? Does she have any, any requests that we could fill? Yes, perfect. Okay, here you go. Have some fish for you. Let's level up. I think we wanna reach level three today so we can unlock some good stuff. Okay, perfect. I also have the coconuts for her, so I'm gonna gift them to her as well. Hopefully this is enough for level three. Well, at least our friendship is leveling up. <laughs> Okay, yay! We are at level three thanks to Goldie's requests. Okay, and we can invite Freya. Awesome, and we got all the cute outfits. Yes, I really wanna craft some of those, but let's check from here. Can I? I think we need a lot of resources for these. I could do this. How much is for the, oh. Yeah, in the beginning, you really don't have a lot of crafting materials, but it gets better a little bit later on. <laughs> but in the beginning, it's such a struggle. Do we want to make the dress? I don't know. Maybe. How long does it take? Eight hours? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Okay, I think we're not going to craft anything just yet. I'm just going to gift these to Goldie. I think this should be the last quest that she has. I think they always have like maybe four things that they're gonna ask for. Okay, perfect. So we have now unlocked Pete's parcel service. This is a lifesaver. It makes completing the requests so much easier. So you can do all of them from here. As you can see, you can just click away. And yeah, this makes your pocket camp life so much easier. So you definitely want to level up to level three as fast as possible. Alrighty, I kind of want to invite Eugene to the campsite. I don't really remember what he wants us to craft, so that might kind of slow things down for us. Um, let's catch that one butterfly that he wants us to catch. Perfect. And let's send that to Eugene. Okay, perfect. Let's go and check if he already wants to move to the campsite. Let's check what he has to say. Here's what you need to provide for me to attend. <laughs> He's such a smug personality. Oh, 
Okay, modern sofa, sleek dresser and a rug. I'm gonna favorite all of this. Let's see if we can craft any of it. So let's see here. Okay, yay, I think we can do everything. But I think it might take quite some time. Oh, that sucks. How long does this one take? 30 minutes, one minute. Okay, so I don't think we can invite. Oh, yay. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So many tutorials, right? Um, Yeah, I don't think we are able to invite Eugene today after all, because it takes some time to craft these items. But you know, at least we have already two campsite visitors, so that is amazing. Let me just quickly collect these goals from here as per usual. I feel like we are just collecting goals throughout this whole video, right? Alrighty, let's collect these. We got some cute items from this, so we could kind of customize our campsite a little bit, actually. But anyways, let's see if we have anything here. Okay, we can still complete this one. I think that is it for you, Jeans. Requests. Um, let's go and meet Apollo, right? We didn't say hi to Apollo yet. I think we could also go and customize our campsite, but I think at level three, we will also unlock the garden. And that is a long tutorial for how to garden in this game. So we'll see about that. If we go back to the campsite, I might cut the garden tutorial out of the video because it takes too much time honestly and you cannot even skip it so beginning of pocket camp too many tutorials but otherwise really amazing game okay apollo tell us a story okay so apollo wants us to pick him an outfit so this is a really cute feature in pocket camp the villagers will just randomly ask you to do like random stuff and i don't know what should we give him big star tea maybe i want to see what this looks like Ah, oh, we can't see it. We're standing in the way. <laughs> he didn't like it. That's so funny. Oh my goodness. Let's see what it looks like. I can't see Apollo. I think it looks quite cute, but okay, he did not like it. That's fine, Apollo, that's fine. As you can also notice, there is a lot of random people around the campsite as well. These are just like random players. I think, I think they are just randomized, right? Um, you can buy some stuff from their market box and stuff like that. So you can find, okay, Elena is not selling anything, but sometimes people do have like stuff to sell there that might come in handy. For example, craft crafting materials. I always buy all the crafting materials. You can also just add like random friends to your pocket camp, which really helps you a lot to to like complete events and get more items and stuff like that. Um, You yeah, you just kind of want to add everyone that you can who is actively playing. Um, but maybe we will get into that in the next episode. So let's go back to our campsite. I think Lloyd is going to give us the tutorial how to garden and it is a long one, so I think I'm gonna skip it. Yes, okay, here we go. More tutorials as usual. But as I said earlier, honestly, I think after like maybe level eight or something, the game calms down with the tutorials a little bit and it becomes so much fun. So just try to bear through these like first few hours of gameplay. They're just kind of crazy. So yeah, I'm gonna skip this part and we're gonna, we're gonna kind of decorate our campsite a little bit hopefully okay so we finished the gardening tutorial wow wow honestly these tutorials right <laughs> okay so let's go to design and change these furniture around a little bit i think i'm gonna put all of this away because i do want to place some of these new items that we got and hopefully show you guys a little bit how you can customize your campsite i think in the beginning everyone gets the same items right but let's try to create something cute with this. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I think I did this also in my first camp. I just created this cute little like movie area. There we go. Is there anything other cute in here? Any other cute stuff? Maybe the plant, lantern, hammock. Okay. 
maybe like that we can move this somewhere as well the villagers will always like interact with all these items which is really cute um we don't have a lot of cool stuff just yet i'm just gonna randomly place these around for now just to make our campsite look a little bit more special a little bit more customized right um maybe that one there okay it's pretty empty still but i think that is good for now oh this wisp thing is like i really want this item but i don't have a i don't have enough leave tickets for that i'm so sad <laughs> Okay, 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 where were we? Look at this, we have our cute little campsite movie area going on over here. And Rosie is already enjoying the, the lantern, okay. <laughs> Okay, I think that is it for today's Pocket Camp episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you like the video and let me know if you want to see more. There is really still so much that we didn't even get the chance to do. As you can see, still a lot of things on the map that we didn't even unlock yet. There is, there is honestly so many things to do, but I don't want to make this episode last too long. I hope I can make it around 20 minutes. So so that is like our first cute little look into pocket camp what do you guys think or if you are already playing this of course you know how awesome this game is it's also fun change from new horizons and if you have been feeling a little bit burned out i highly suggest playing some pocket camp it might kind of spark your animal crossing inspiration back to life right but yeah this is the first quick look to pocket camp there is still so much i can't even fit into this video but i hope you guys enjoyed this quick little episode one of pocket camp truly addictive game i'm telling you guys you have been warned you will be playing pocket camp for a month in a row because it is so good <laughs> i hope you guys do enjoy it let me know if you're gonna try it if you like it or not try to bear through the tutorials i know they are a lot but after a while it will get so much better but that is it for me today you guys i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching today's episode i hope to see you all in the next one bye guys oh my god i can't even do my waving thing bye guys